Hello, it is Wednesday, June 16th, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. I'm in Reno, Nevada. And yes, I just had to look up the time of the day. I'm gonna try. That's a stupid angle. I will change it soon. So, this is my <sighs> my uh, health. No, wait, how do I call it? Pituitary gland, pituitary tumor adventures. Pituitary tumor adventures. I need to build something for the future here. This doesn't work. Pituitary tumor adventures update and the water bottle would work but I need that uh, salt is salt strong enough There is one oxy in here, okay. two Tylenol, and your steroid for 10 o'clock. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I want you to munch as much egg as, as you can. Can I move your laptop out of the way? But I'll be needing it when okay. I have... You should leave it somewhere where I can... Where I can take it. I'm going to put it vertically right here is okay? that okay for it yeah i won't hurt it it's actually safer there if somebody stumbles okay did you get a job mm. maybe let me see it's is that okay. door okay open no can you please no i i wanna can i be by myself a bit please yeah let me stand up in a sec Oh. Thursday, July 1st. Also, and unfortunately, I don't have bubbles anymore, but I figured out when I slowly eat and I keep talking, or like I eat a little bit and then I talk a bit, it helps me digesting. Okay. Is that a thing actually? I don't know. Is that because it figured that out because they Okay, you have plenty of food, you have salt, yeah. you have your drugs for ten o'clock. Can you hand me your C V D because I know you're not gonna be taking that for a while. Oh yeah, I don't want that. Okay. You so, have enough water? Yeah. Will you so should I take them myself at 10 o'clock or no, should I, I wake you up? No, I will come in and check with you, but when you're done, two squirts in each nose with saline, please. Okay? Okay. Oh, there's a water glass behind you. Can you hand that to me? A glass. That's not a, that's my pinnacle glass. Oh, that's okay. That's always there. That's like okay. emergency. Okay, I'll check on you in a bit. Okay. Okay, so you heard 
Paul just came in and he didn't realize I was filming. I already said the time, date, and this is my pituitary tumor adventure. And this is like real. No cutting, no editing, no filters. No makeup, no hair, still hospital gown. I'm at home, I took it home. One of the night nurses gave me the idea to take it home, so I got approved to take it home for my night nurse. She won't tell, she said. I'm much, much better now. So, I don't want to make this so long. I make such long videos. But, uh, so, I know how this works with videos and with posting and not everyone is watching all the videos. So you should, I, Basically, you should always repeat certain things and also a lot of times when you well not for This year, but when you want to educate something someone you need to repeat stuff over and over again Okay, I could burp now I'm good but I know that so but if I keep repeating everything over and over again, my videos keep getting longer and longer. So I'll try not to repeat everything, but so now this time I uh, Paul came home from work and. The pain started again. Um, I was supposed to wait a bit longer for my meds, but I was like, uh uh. So I took a Tylenol. Oh, one of the new ones. I will show you all this too one time. Which one did we got? And still like uh, uh need more so i already took an oxy so i think one tylenol one oxy maybe another tylenol later i don't think so. i don't know anyways got super crazy tired this is also something usually then the oxy kicks in and so i have a window of feeling quite good like now I feel good but also I get really crazy tired so I still want to post this I have to answer that person and answer that person I have to read stuff from the hospital oh yeah poor me I have so much to do no it's not like this and I'm glad I have stuff to do but it's like I start posting some a story or something on Instagram and I get so crazy tired. I can barely make it. And I I should push through. Like oh I just finish it. No, like last time you know, storyline I had like five pictures, videos or whatever. Started putting the C season and the translation maybe three it's like now i need sleep safe 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 close it and now when i try this time i can just i'll be faster with posting it. but 
But so, I fell asleep. And the weird shit happened. Really weird. And if you're still listening to me, you know that I'm probably somehow crazy anyways. You know, the great thing is, after my recovery, I can just all blame it on the drugs when I'm talking now. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know, it's not pretty watching me eat. You don't have to. Mm. Oh. Better? <gasps> I fell asleep lucky so I was yeah I, I remember now I my pain was really bad finally the oxy started to kick in car alarm went off outside for quite a while that's fucking annoying anyways but perfect timing really the oxy just kicked in so I could handle it then Paul was on the phone in the living room and unfortunately Paul has a really a voice that carries in the, as a he's not trying to be loud or he's not even that loud well sometimes you know how it is when you're on the phone it's like well he was quite loud but it's okay eventually I fell asleep so I asked Paul and I got two hours of sleep, he said, about two hours. It's like the norm. I don't get more than two. It was so weird. I was dreaming. Okay, look, listen, what I'm telling you now is just me being honest and what I experienced, how it how it felt to me. I was asleep and felt like I was in a different reality and um, oh yeah when you dream dreaming you're in a different reality but it felt really differently it felt real and not like a real ah oh, fuck you see I can't even explain it but in I think um, there were people I don't remember three yeah did you know that uh, air fryer has a grease cup? No. Yeah, it was on the side. It was full almost to the top. Well. So I drained of it out. Of course. It's all good. So you know it's on the side. If you look at the very top of the rim, there's a hole. It's right underneath that hole. I think I know where. Okay. That is so cool. Thank you. 
Are you still eating? Yeah. When you're done, call me and I will get the plate and put okay. it in the fridge. So. How was your head? It's pretty good. I want to, before I forget everything that I was dreaming or react what happened I wanna try to to uh document yes okay because I wanna keep remembering it okay so maybe don't get me wrong I'm so glad I'm not alone and many times I'm like please stay here but now I need to get that out, otherwise it goes away. There were people, and oh, and there was a wolf. I was like in a place, and something happened, and then almost like I woke up from that reality and I was in a different one but it was I was like a it's like the same place I think it's the same reality but like maybe a different time I don't know but so I don't remember exactly what was first so yeah people weird people Maybe car. I almost want to say in a spaceship, but no. And I remember, like, I went back to the car. I wanted to set up the back seats were like that. It was like a truck back seats were like down and so at the front of the car here the back seats were down and I was like standing here and trying to put the back seats up but it's not possible because I was in the way but then also something like yeah, all the people were there. And they weren't quite people. Quite different. And one of them was really tall. A little bit more uh not skinny, a bit, a bit more wider, but not, not, not fat at all. Not, uh, maybe, um, like maybe in her mid fifties or I think she was much, much older, but she looked great she looked amazing actually very beautiful and not too thin not too thick just maybe normal but honestly uh, maybe a little bit more than i would want i don't want to be skinny i want to be lean muscular but okay I don't know why somehow I knew at some point it was myself or myself from a different time different dimension myself from the future I don't fucking know I know it sounds very crazy I know But she confirmed that. I don't remember. I asked her, you are me. 
or something. I don't remember. This was something, and then at another point of my weird fucked up dream or whatever the shit that is. Um, they were. People, like regular people, I think we knew each other, but it's not like it's not like my mom or Paul or no one specific. Just I, I was there, and there were other. I always want to say creatures, but it sounds weird. Maybe animals or I don't know. And they were, I think, like hung, not, no, not hung up. They were alive. I think. Like, as a for sure, there was like a wolf or something, and like in a net or so, just for us to be safe there or whatever. But it was like, you can almost imagine a demon wolf, and he needed to be, how do you say, contained, confined? I don't know, he just need because. He would eat us, or just like natural wolf, or naturally, yeah. But he, like, his face, he like extended, came out. And I wasn't scared. He came towards me, and I knew everyone else was scared. Was like, ah. <gasps> You, I don't know if they said it or if they thought it or whatever, but I knew they said, thought, like, I need to get out of the way. And they did, like, need to be, stay safe, stay distant or whatever. And I knew I don't. Okay, the wolf came close to me. His face was right there. And it changed. And oh my gosh, it's so hard to explain. I felt I almost kind of want to say again it was myself again, but I don't think so. But or it was a part of me, or it was even protecting me, or it knew me, or it just knew. No, I don't need to be scared. I think the wolf, when he stopped, it got like, he was more like dark and maybe more blackish, dark, dark gray. But when he was here, his face kind of smoothened out and got more light gray. Then I think he went out of the net and went away. So... I've been... Yeah... Could you like, leave me for a while so I can eat? Because it's really, really hard to try to remember. Thank you. So, so hard to get back to that state, you know, and so every time, like, I get back, 
drawn into reality when Paul comes in or knocks and that's actually my point now um yeah I'm sure I was dreaming I'm sure I was dreaming but it felt very differently yeah it felt like I was in a different reality and so I already, um, I woke up like three times. It's hard to explain, but like, but I'm still in that reality. And then I really woke up. I, uh, I, I woke up here in my bed. I saw, you know, have my head here sleep like this I saw this no oh, okay I'm I'm back I'm here again I'm in this reality again really that's how it, it kind of felt so like I knew I was here okay I got more you know kind of sleep or I don't fucking know how I sleep but I I, I sleep on my side I can't sleep but so i positioned myself more comfortably more like straightened up but my mind was still in the other rea reality somehow somehow yes that's how it felt my body was here but my mind was in the other reality and i could comprehend both it's a weird feeling and I don't like it and then <laughs> the fire alarm went off we have a fucked up kitchen here really fucking stupid we have a vent over the stove which just sucks in the smoke and everything Apparently, it cleans it and just lets it back out above of it, back into the apartment. So, try to make anything here, especially like for frying. So the alarm went off already so many times. It's fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, it's for the environment because we don't want to get the sucked up stuff letting it out anymore. You know what people do? They open all the doors, all the balcony doors, all the windows, and it will still go outside, you motherfucker. But at the same time, it uh, also fills up your entire apartment with smoke. And it's, anyways, really, that it's a fucking crazy, stupid ass shit. I'm all about taking care of the environment and be thoughtful like i hate when the water is just running and it doesn't get used but also the sound but also just knowing like but then there are just fucked up things like the shower heads that are safe in the waters water do you see my hair it takes me it would, luckily we don't have those, it would take me like so much longer to wash my hair with it when I don't have pressure. So you know what, in the end I'm gonna use so much more water. Anyways, same with that vent thing. Fucking bullshit. So. Yeah. The alarm went off. I'm very sensitive to sounds in general. Smells, sounds, touch, and certain th they, they make me go crazy. I can't handle it. And uh, when you're in excruciating pain, well, they make you go crazy times thousand. And this time it was also a shock. I 
if I described it, I felt my body was here. My body was already in this reality. My mind was still in the other reality. And then the alarm went off. And it shocked me out of, as it shocked me into, well, what's real, right? The real, real reality. And um, so the sound, just the sound per se, I fucking hate. It's loud. Oh, fire alarm is fucking loud. And not just the sound, also that to get shocked out of that completely of that state or whatever. It double worse, so cover that's what I do. I cover my ears and I I kinda I don't know how to explain it. I have a an attack. I keep repeating words or like Sometimes I'm like, make it stop, make it stop, or like, no, no, no. And I also talk because so, I as a repeating helps myself to calm down. And I also talk because then I hear myself talking and not the alarm. Of course, Paul came in, right in and said everything is fine and the alarm and it will go off and, um, So, yeah, this is what happened, and the problem is with me now in my state, like now it's get, getting better and better. Sometimes, earlier today, I got up, filled up my water bottle myself, went to the bathroom, almost not like now actually i'm super crazy tired but actually good but it switches so fast and when i don't take an oxy or a tylenol early enough like when it starts like oh, you know what it's starting then i need to take stuff because if i don't it gets uh, almost out of control and it was really bad it was um well i don't know maybe also that alarm that shock or so just yeah made it raise up so much faster and higher the pain than usual so it takes a while i got to the bathroom it hurt so much i needed help i was so dizzy I got an oxy in that, you know, it takes a while too. And I started eating. I always eat the same. Scrambled eggs. And uh, ground beef. It's still hard for me to eat. So, um, I uh, started it. So, and I'm glad actually. Actually, I should have started filming right then while I was taking my meds and started eating because then the memory, memory was still the freshest, but it's really hard for me to talk then and I need the oxy to do its thing. I need to get many pieces of Tylenol down. And I'm actually glad Paul was here sitting on the stool on the chair can't sit here next to me because every little movement makes my bed the couch move and it hurts so much and already now i'm fine but already sometimes like oh fuck why is it moving it hurts yeah because i move even me moving hurts but someone else moving hurts 10 times more of course so that's great. So he was just sitting here on a chair and also when I wake up, I kind of need to talk and keep talking. So I'm settling down 
again like into reality and uh, getting over that excruciating pain so I was telling him what happened as good as I could remember I thought like oh my shit I need to film that right now so when I still remember it but uh, I told him I don't want to go there anymore and he asked me a good question. He asked, what are you afraid of? And I said that it's real. Okay, I'm probably just crazy dream, right? But it, uh, yeah, I just know. Maybe it's because of the drugs that I have these weird dreams. But I need to stay on the drugs for quite a while and I just want restful sleep, you know what I mean? I don't even want to dream anything, just be out. And it's so weird, it's like, it's actually so... It costs energy, like... Like be, yeah, I don't know, feeling to be in a different reality. Okay, so this is my update, and this is what happened. Getting really tired now. Also, I want to make clear, you know, we humans are very susceptible. Like, also what happens during the day, what you're listening to, what you're watching, what you're reading. And in the last years or so, I... Uh, I uh, listen to people that are, uh, how do you say? Fuck. I forgot. That are psychic. And yes, I know we are all psychic in a way, we just lost the ability and stuff, but I don't believe, so yeah, I do believe in psychics, I believe in remote viewing, I believe in all that shit, but I don't believe that's what I can do or be able to do in this lifetime here, that's not my, I don't have any, um, how do you say, special powers now, any, uh, Oh, well, I think you know what I mean. I don't have any, uh, Lord. uh, anyways, you know, gift. I don't have a gift or so like that. No just a crazy person that got the tumor out and is on drugs so but something else when I went to the bath now this is actually quite some light for me uh, I can handle that but uh, sometimes I can't handle light at all oh, it's just like everything hurts I found my glasses, my sunglasses. Um, they're actually really nice. I don't have a lot of expensive stuff, but my dad bought me those in New York. Chanel. I think they were like, I remember 200, 400 bucks. Who cares? But, uh, so I have my glasses on and this is actually so cool this helps it has to be like this this is so cool the only problem is even already just those glasses because they can I mean they're just good fitting they fit well good they're not too tight but when I have such a pulsating headache, 
it's nice to have the glasses because well obviously i get a clearer vision it takes some pressure off my eyes trying to adjust right and then with the sunglasses on, on it even better because even less light but they're so heavy like oh it's like a relief then oh my eyes this is a relief but they're heavy <laughs> that's not too bad so now this is okay i don't need so and double it up is kind of heavy but you gotta choose your battles you gotta choose your like your hurts <laughs> your pains you gotta choose them so i'm gonna keep those here thank you dad for those cool sunglasses I love them. I actually barely wear them because I'm scared to lose them. <laughs> but here they are safe. So and this is my, this is another update about my pituitary tumor adventure. Did I say adventures? Well, it's one big adventure. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting really, really tired. But right now, I'm, I'm doing good. See, that's what I mean. I don't have a big window. Because I really also want, wanted to post something and write some people back. There's no hurry. Who the fuck cares? I can post later or whatever. So, yeah, then I am. Um, <laughs> usually because i make such long videos it's like all my energy goes into those videos but this is what helps me the most nah you can't say that but this is what really helps me and i want like i just wanted to do it fresh yeah i still didn't remember to Okay, so I'm trying to eat a little bit more. It's hard now. I don't wanna. I still have, I'm still way too low in calories, but at least I'm eating now. <sighs> okay, see you next time. Bye.